Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem, and the problem's name is check if all characters have equal number of occurrences. In this question, we are given a string s. We have to return true if the string s is a good string, else we have to return false. A string is considered good if all the characters present in that string have equal number of occurrences. So if you take a look at the example here, you're given a string a b a c b c. In this, you can see there are three distinct characters a b and c, and all of them have the frequency of two. That means Means that each character a b and c is occurring two times so you return true in the second example you can see that you are given a string a a a b b you return false because a is occurring three times and b is occurring only two times so you return false because the characters don't have same frequency so to solve this problem first i'm going to create a hash map inside this hash map the key is going to be the character and the value is going to be the frequency of that character so first let us create the hash map and then we'll proceed with the logic Now that we have the hash map, let us iterate to the input s. For that, let's use a for loop which starts from 0 till the end of the string. Now we have to check if the character at the ith index position inside the string s is present inside the map. For that, let's extract the character at the ith index position. Now let's check if this character is present inside the map if map.contains key. Here the key is character, right? So ch. The map contains this key. You have to insert this character into the map. So map dot put a character ch, and the frequency of that character will get the current frequency using the get method. So we are getting the current frequency and incrementing it by one. And the else block, which means that that character is not present inside the map. So you have to insert that character and set its frequency as one. Map dot put of character 1. So this is how you fill the hash map where in the else part each distinct element is added inside the map with frequency 1. The next time you find that character in the string you increment its frequency with 1. Now after this for loop finishes and when this for loop finishes you have all the values inside the map. So for example let us take the working now. So let's take this example first this is the string given to us and after you fill the map and this is what the map will contain. This is the key and this is its frequency. There are three elements inside the map because map does not contain duplicate values. Whenever you encounter a new character, it sets its frequency to one. From the next time, whenever you find that character, it will add one to the character's value. And this is the final value for the string. To proceed our logic, we have to take only the values present and put it inside a hash set. So first, let's create a hash set, which will contain integers because we are storing the values values contains integers right so let's create a set new hash set and now we have to add these values present inside the map into the hash set for that i'm going to use the values method on the map so map.values so this set will now contain only two because hash set does not contain duplicate values first it will add this value into the set Next, it will take this value because 2 is already present, it won't add 2. It will go on to the next element. Again, it's a 2. 2 is already present, so it won't add 2. So this is what the set will contain. This is the final value. And now you can recognize that there is always only one element present inside the hash set if all the characters have same values. So it means that if all the characters count is same, you'll only have one element inside the map. So using that logic, we have to check if the size of the set is equal to 1 so if set dot size is equal to 1 you can return true because all the characters contain same count return true now outside this if statement you can return false which means that the size of the set is not equal to 1 so there is at least one character which has different count so there is a extra element inside the set so you'll return false so let's try to run this code there you have it you're getting the expected output let's submit the code there you have it a solution has been accepted so let's take this example here as you can see a contains 3 and b contains 2 so the set will contain the following values so the set will now contain two values because these two are different values 3 and 2 so both of them will be added since the size of the set is not equal to 1 
it won't print true it will print false and that is the expected output here that's it guys that's the end of the video thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one